Hey guys and welcome to another TTK tutorial here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we'll take a look at themes in Tkinter. So themes actually play a much bigger role in TTK than you might think. You might think that TTK's main, you know, what it brings to the table is its widgets, but no. The main thing that it actually brings is its updated themes, its styles. The styles we covered in the last video, so you can take a, take a look at it in the description. We have a link over there. But in this video we're talking about themes. So what is a theme? Well, a team in TTK refers to the general look. It refers to the general you know, list of options and styles that are all combined together and that produces a team. You have like 20 different widgets and every single widget has its own set of defined styles. Like what, what font is it using? What size is the font? What padding it uses? What hover effects it has? These are all part of the team, basically. All right, and these are all pre-built, okay? And we can also create our own, which we'll also be taking a look at today. We'll basically start off by uh, how to use the pre-built themes available to us, and then we'll take a look at how to modify them, and then we'll take a look at how to actually create your own theme, okay? And then finally, we'll take a look at how to download external themes, which is also pretty cool, by the way, in case you don't want to use one of the default ones. All right, so without further ado, let's begin. All right, so let's take a look at pre-built themes and how to access them, all right? So the first thing we do is create a style object, ttk.style, and now we can access a bunch of functions like team names. This gives us team names, all right? This gives us a list of all current themes available for download, sorry, available for use, all right? Now, if you take a look over here, there are seven themes in total on my OS. Now, this can vary, okay? Uh, for example, Win Native. This is clearly something that's native to Windows. So if you are using this on Linux or Mac, this uh, I don't think I don't think will be available. Clam, Alt, Default, and Classic. I believe these four are available across all OSs, but Win Native, Vista, and XP Native I believe are OS specific. All right. So that's something to take a look at. Let's try switching over to Vista. All right. And that's pretty simple too. We just do style dot team use, and we just pass in the name of the team. All right. So if you do this, what happens? All right. So here is our. Okay, some things did change definitely. It looks. Uh, or did it really change? Is this the default one? I'm not sure. Hold on. This is actually a bit confusing. Doesn't really, doesn't really look different. Let's try a different one. Because I, I can't remember which one was the default one. Hold on. Let's try classic. All right, that's definitely different. That's uh, a rather interesting look. Uh, yeah, it's kind of classic, as the name says. All right. The slider looks good, uh, entry box looks good, button looks good, radio button looks a bit weird, and the check button, okay. Let's try clam. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, it's a nice look, I like this one. All right. Okay, let's try alt, this is the last one we'll try. Okay, that's pretty similar to, to clam, all right. All right, so that's the pre-built teams basically, all right, and just you just had a little look at what they look like, okay? They don't look too bad, and if you don't like them, why not modify them? Because you can. So, for example, uh, let's switch this to, say, default, and let's just see what happens. Uh, okay, interesting look. So I guess Vista is the default, by the way. Anyways, so let's see whether we can make some changes to this theme, okay? Let's just uh, remove all this, okay? Because we don't really need that anymore. So we'll just remove this and just leave the button. Okay, we'll just make some adjustments to the button because we don't have time, honestly, to like uh, cover all of them because the, at the end of the day, we just, uh, you know, we're just making some changes here. Creating an entire theme from scratch is a very difficult task, if you ask me, because then you need to sort of, for every single widget that you're going to use, 
you'll need to make code. So you, you'll end up with like a few hundred lines of code if you're properly customizing all the widgets and creating your own theme. Okay, but, but we'll get to that in a minute. All right, let's just talk about how we can modify this theme currently. All right, just take a good look at what it currently looks like. Okay, this is what it currently looks like. So let's make some changes. So what I'll do is style uh, dot theme settings. And the first parameter here is the name of the theme. Okay, so we want to make changes in the default theme. Okay, the next, uh, now this is a bit complicated. There's some really, uh, you need, there's a lot of nesting over here. Okay, it's a nested dictionary and it's like really, really nested. Okay, so be, you know, caution, caution, advice. All right, now um, the first parameter here is T button. Okay, just follow along, just look at what I'm doing and things will make sense, hopefully. Okay, T button is the widget that we want to change. Okay, or more specifically, it's the name of the style that we want to modify. Okay, so this is the outer dictionary. Okay, this is the first level of the dictionary and within it are all the widgets. Okay, like T button. And for example, uh, if I just close this one and if I close the outer one as well, okay, uh, basically widgets come in here. Okay, so I could do this, for example, and then start T label as well. Okay, then the, the dictionary for T label would be here and so on. Okay, I'm just 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 want to give you a good idea about, about how all this is working. Okay, so this is T button. Now in this dictionary for the T button style, what comes? Well, it's it's a bit complicated again because there's a bunch of further nestings that we need to take a look at. Okay, so it's basically something like this. Uh, let me just try and make sure this is all aligned. Maybe keep this over here. Okay, so over here, what I'll do is change a few options. Okay, now uh, there's this one option called configure. You may have seen me use this in the previous video. It's like style.configure, then you can configure a theme, right? This is what I did it in the last video. You like, uh, sorry, you can configure a style like this. This is what it looks like. Uh, you can change foreground options, background options, etc., etc. Okay, now wh what you do over here, okay, with the configure option is that you make it another dictionary. Yes, I know this is complicated, but again, just follow along. Now, in this uh, dictionary, what you do is change those options. So, for example, padding. You can change padding in here. So, for example, I could do padding is 10, okay? And remember, no, no is equal to signs here. This is all semicolons. This is basically a dictionary and we have key value pairs, okay? And uh, well, yeah, I hope you're following along so far. And yes, this is another one. This is the map, okay? We have configure and we have map. So just so you guys have an idea of what's going on here, okay? We had theme name, okay? Then we had this nested dictionary, okay? And within that nested dictionary, we have uh, the key value pairs for the widget and the value for that widget happens to be another dictionary which has key value pairs in it for the options okay so i hope you're following along map okay map what it has is a bit more complicated it has further options so yes this is like the third level first widget level then option level and and then the options themselves have options yeah i know so background, uh, what's that? Okay, anyways, uh, background and background, the kind of options it takes are like this. Active, yellow, and this is just a, a color I'm picking. There's yellow one, there's yellow two, there's yellow three and so on. They're different shades, okay? Uh, let's just do this one. And actually, no, not, not gonna close that. There are multiple, this is a list. Honestly, I'm not sure exactly why this is so complicated, but it just is. So yeah, disabled. Don't worry, I'll just explain all this in a minute. Just pay attention while I do this and I'll explain all of it once I'm done. Okay, and what else? Background. Okay, let's do some other options uh, like uh, foreground. And what? values does it take for the foreground that's the text by the way 
background is for the you know the back of the widget okay the stuff which the text is on all right the button body and focus red what focus red means basically is that uh, when it's under focus the widget then it's going to be colored red okay active all right then what's left yeah not disabled and this can be blue okay all right so i think we're done here we have the t button and we have the configure options set and then we have map there's a comma there by the way okay and we have map and then this nested dictionary has this option which has these these values then we have foreground as another oh, wait hold on there needs to be a comma here too okay to show that there are multiple options okay so i think this is good let's run the code and see what happens okay indenting problem ah i see there's this bracket okay this bracket to close this of course Padding is not defined. Oh, of course. It's text. Okay, there we go. It worked. No errors. All right, so let's just move this part out of the way and take a look at our code while I demonstrate what's going on here. All right, so currently you can see that the text is blue. Okay, and the background is yellow. Why? Let's just take a look at this. It says when active, display yellow three. And when not disabled, display yellow. So currently it's displaying yellow because currently it's, it's not disabled, okay? And active is when we move our cursor over it. So it's turning into a darker shade of yellow. Like the more you increase, like yellow one, yellow two, yellow three, yellow four, the shade gets darker, generally speaking, okay? So that's why the background is changing. Now let's take a look at the foreground. Currently the text is blue. That's because it's not disabled, okay? And neither of these two are activating because it's not under focus and it's not active either. So that's why it's not red, it's not green, and it's blue, okay? So if I move my cursor over it, it becomes active. And you can see, I'm not sure if you can see this clearly, but it's currently green, okay? And focus, if you see, if you see the focus over here, it's red. So if I click on it, it turns red. See? Because it's under focus. That's basically how all this nonsense works. And this is what you'll need to do if you want to create your own theme from scratch. And let me get to that right now. Okay? Now, um, if you want to create your own theme, all right, let's just uh, change this a bit. Okay? So we'll do style dot... Um, Team create, I think, and uh, custom. We'll call it custom. And then we'll use custom. And we'll just change this to custom. All right? We made our own custom team. Great. All right, now, interestingly, interestingly, I think that some options have worn off. And this is interesting because in, in my styles video, I mentioned that when you create a style, a custom style, it inherits all the options from the parent, right? So if, you, if there's like the T button style and you do custom T button, it'll inherit those styles unless you override them with something different. Now, the thing is that if you try using your own custom theme, what happens is that you need to define the style for every single widget. Yes, exactly. That's the problem. If I create a new one, if I create a label right now, let's see what happens. Master text is equal to I am a label. Okay, and just pack the label in real quick. Okay, and there we go. Now here's a, the label. Now the thing is with the label that, uh, how do I put this? It's on its default settings, okay? There is no custom style applied. Now let me just remove this for a second and you'll see what happens. Now, the button, as you can see, suddenly lost all of its creativity. 
it suddenly it just lost all of that you know style to it that's because it's on its default settings because it doesn't have a theme applied that's why it kind of sucks because there's no hover settings there's no padding there's no foreground color defined there's no borders defined like relief you know that's also an option here by the way so you know it just sucks because there's no themes applied because themes make widgets look good okay so this is actually the trouble with making your own, your own custom theme so this is why you might want to consider going with a theme and then just modifying it because over here um oh wait hold on we haven't switched to it okay so there there's our label and uh yeah it's all working so yeah, this way, if you actually use, it's not really showing much right now, but if you just modify a current theme, then if you just want to modify it for one widget, okay, then you just need to focus on that one widget because then the styles will still be there for the other, you know, 19 widgets because they're roughly 20, okay? So this is the benefit of just modifying an existing theme. But if you want to put in the effort, sure, you can go ahead and make your own theme. Okay, I've already shown you the basics of, of how to do it. There isn't really much more. You just need to go figure out all the different options, which honestly, even, even I, don't, I don't know. There's so many of them. There's like relief, then there's font, and you know, you can use, use all of those. All right, so there's just one last thing we need to take a look at. Just delete this, and this is, let's, just remove, let's just remove that. We don't need to create a theme anymore. What I want to do is just show you how to get an external theme. Okay, so let me just open up our tutorials folder and I downloaded, downloaded this earlier. Okay, you can just search this up. It's called All Themes and you can download it. You can just do this for anything basically because there are, there's an entire site out there and official site I think and there's like a lot of themes up there, you know, for preview and you can just go ahead and download any of them. Okay, it's all free by the way. So yeah, so here is the, the themes. Okay uh this is well if you just look at this read me for a second it shows that these are the themes available okay the ones with scalable on them don't work for me because i think they have some kind of requirement like a take into svg or something i don't know what's up with that but these two will work all dark and all light okay so uh, i'll just show you how to run both of these right now okay so i'll come over here and uh or here yeah, we need to make we need to make some changes over here. It's uh, root .tk .call and then l append, then auto path, then what was it? Yeah, the file path. So in this case, for example, it's over here. Uh, in the same directory, right? It's in this is our current this is the ttk .teams file in which I'm I'm currently working in. And this is the all teams folder. So if I do all teams, all right, 10.4.0. If I do this, it should work. Root dot tk dot call. This is one more thing we need to do. Package require all dark. Okay, that's the name of the theme I want to use. Now, if all went correctly, if I try to use a dark, it should work. All right, it didn't work out. All right, that's a bit sad. Wait, hold on. I just realized I made a spelling mistake. A dark. Oh, okay, it does work. That's a bit too dark, I think, but uh, okay, it works. Hold on, let me just get some more code in here. And so we can see the other widgets and what effect the theme has on them. All right, so here we go. Here are all of our widgets. Okay, so if I run this, uh, what's up with that? Oh, hold on, just ignore that. Okay, so if I run this, and this is the kind of look we get. And this is a bit too dark for my tastes, personally. Uh, but uh, some of you may like it if you also change the color of the background i think because the color of the background kind of looks off with it let's try the other one all light okay this one looks better i like this one 
that's not too bad. All right. Yeah. So this is how you get external teams, basically. Okay. It's pretty interesting. And I just, I hope you guys learned a lot about TTK and teams today, because I think we covered pretty much everything in, you know, to a good extent, at least. Okay. There's still more to it, obviously, and there's still more to learn. And I mean, the road to learning never stops. So you guys, if you're really interested in this and you really want, really want to make your own teams, maybe make your own teams and, you know, upload them online for youth. You can do that. People do that quite a bit. So well, yeah, uh, do let me know if you guys do anything interesting, whether you, whether you come up with some interesting teams, uh, do leave some comments, leave some feedback and uh, do subscribe to the channel because we have more TTK content coming out. We have more tech into content coming out, other Python GUI libraries. If you're interested in other GUI libraries, maybe. All right. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in a later video. Thanks for watching.